it's just so sexy and intriguing hi guys i'm rachel if you're new or returning welcome and welcome back i do fragrance beauty and lifestyle i hope you stay to the end everything i speak about will be linked in the description along with all my other social media platforms i'd like to have you over there as well So my last video was all about fall fragrances. I'd link it somewhere in the cards for you. I'm giving you guys time to prepare, sample, buy them, get yourself ready. But if I'm being realistic, fall is a couple of weeks away and there is this transition phase from summer to fall. And I know that in some states, it's still pretty hot. So I know it can be hot in the days and cooler at night. So here are some perfumes that I think are great for transitioning from summer to fall. So this first perfume is a floral perfume and I love florals and rose at that. Montal Intense Roses Musk. This has notes of rose, amber, jasmine, but to me it's just a musky rose. When I was deciding on this perfume, it was between this one and Mancera's Roses Vanille and clearly this one won the battle. To me, this is a fresh, bright, dewy, pink rose this is not a very complex perfume but to me it's done very well and it's very feminine it's very strong and has a great longevity if you're a lover of rose in your perfumes like me give this one a try so while we're here please subscribe and hit that bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload my videos and i upload every sunday let's get into the next perfume this next perfume i bought into the hype on tiktok and i blind bought this perfume and when i received it i was like what i was not impressed even before i bought it i went ahead and bought an inspiration from a dupe house and when i received it i was like no nah, this perfume has to smell different than that and i still went ahead and bought it anyway this perfume is maison francisca jean gentle fluidity coat i have to say that at the time i also just loved perfumes that were strong and loud had depth and character i thought that they had to be that way to last and project and you know i always say for me longevity is king but my nose have grown and changed since then this is a perfume i grew to love it's such a nice vanilla with juniper berries and musk it's aromatic it's sophisticated it's feminine and i also also think it's great as a signature scent and clearly one that's great for transitioning from summer to fall now this perfume is a love it or hate it perfume it caused such a controversy within the fragrance community when it was released the early yum pistachio gelato 23 now to me this is a perfume for those of you or those of us who do not like overly sweet gourmand which i am one gourmand perfume tends to smell like bug spray on my skin so it's a it's a scent profile that i must sample but the notes in this balance it off really nice and it's a perfume that changes over time it's not linear it's like a fresh gourmand it opens up bright and citrus then you get the pistachio some nuttiness then the florals and some fluffy cozy vibes from the marshmallows and the sandalwood and there's also some tongue which is great for fall and it's just a perfume I think is great for layering as well now this next perfume is a limited edition and a surprise release by the brand it's Kaoli the Wedding Velvet Santal 35 I never remember these numbers I was fortunate enough to be invited by the brand to smell this perfume before anyone knew it was gonna be released I met the perfumer we explored the notes individually it was such a nice experience I feel so fortunate to have been invited to something like that this perfume is the perfume that Mona's husband wore Hassan on their wedding day and the number 35 indicates the age that he was when he got married to Mona fun fact this is warm cozy sexy woody i get a lot of the tea note the benzoin the sandalwood the jasmine it's just so smooth i feel like if you like perfumes like odwell by dt and mon galon by Guerlain, you would definitely like this so i hope you get your nose on this before it's no longer available now this next perfume i just mentioned it's mon galon by Guerlain. They combined vanilla and lavender so beautifully in this fragrance. Fall is a time I know can be very depressing for a lot of people out there and fragrances I feel like can boost your mood. It works for me and I feel like this is a perfume that can be used to boost your mood if you're ever in a time where you're feeling depressed within the fall season. It's calming. It makes you feel so happy. It's a fresh powdery vanilla and I also get a little bit of the iris as well. It's soft and soothing the notes are very well blended it's not loud and in your face it's just 
a beautiful well done scent in my opinion so see if you can get your nose on this if you haven't already when i heard jeremy fragrance speak about this perfume i was very much so influenced and i blind bought it and i never regret it john paul gaultier scandal i feel like john paul gaultier makes some of the sexiest fragrance out there for women i said what i said if you like a sweet honey perfume this is the one for you it's honey orange blossom blood orange caramel jasmine this is another one that's a perfect gourmand for me because it does not turn like bug spray on my skin the longevity amazing sillage amazing if you don't want to be chased down by men do not wear this perfume it's just so sexy and intriguing and the perfect scent for summer nights and fall evenings this next perfume i just couldn't get down with that perfume regardless of how many flankers they released but they got it right when they released this flanker black opium la parfum by ysl it has notes of jasmine bourbon and madagascar vanilla vanilla orchid vanilla absolute it's just a really vanilla heavy perfume but the vanilla is not overwhelming and there is coffee in here but the coffee is more like a supporting note very smooth and very creamy it's like a rich dark boozy vanilla with coffee as the supporting note it also has great longevity um, I'm definitely gonna get myself a full size. I bought this in a travel size because I blind bought it. I was just determined to find a black opium perfume that I like because, you know, so many people love this perfume, but I'm like, I finally found it. So if you can get your nose on it, sample it, get yourself a travel size, go ahead and do it. I don't think you're gonna regret it. Perfect perfume for transitioning. Now this perfume I have in a EDT version and the way this EDT performs, I'm on the hunt for the EDP because this lasts for days on my clothes so I can't wait to find the EDP version, is Versace Crystal Noir. This has ginger, pepper, sandalwood, amber and musk. I have the notes written here so I'm double checking. It's mysterious, it's elegant, it's spicy and because of the ginger and the pepper at the top, I feel like that's what makes it perfect for a transitional perfume as well it's also very creamy and i feel like this is what a bougie spa would smell like <laughs> huge huge compliment getter i really love this one and i can't wait to get it in an edt version so that's it that's my list of perfumes to transition from summer to fall please subscribe and ring that bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a video which is every sunday Everything I speak about will be linked in the description box along with all my social media platforms. I would love to have you over there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.